Hi guys, so this video is about how I came to open my tuition center about seven years ago. Here goes. You can say that I was a very re reluctant entrepreneur or business starter. I never wanted to start up a tuition center. It's never been in my mind. I don't have a passion for entrepreneurship. I don't have a passion that I, I want to uh, build something significant. My biggest dream, my biggest wet dream is to be able to like just uh, stay as a salary employee and basically get my year-end bonuses, everything, uh, get my pay on the 12th every month and just be that way for the rest of my life. I will be super happy. I will be super stoked. But as fate would have it, uh, sometime uh, after working for four and a half years in MOE, uh, in a, as a school teacher, my backside started to get a bit itchy. Uh, and then this thought came to me and it said, in my mind, it was telling me, do you really want to wake up at 5.45 a.m. for the rest of your working life? So this thought really now at me for a very, very long time until a point in time where I couldn't really take it and plus some circumstances at work also caused me to be uh, a little bit jaded, a little bit uh, cynical and I thought that, oh, I think that I'm just not going to be able to move ahead in my current workplace. So I thought like, why not try something new? So after finding out about a little bit about another hobby interest that I have, I decided to quit my job and I went to become a stockbroker for three years. One thing I realized after working for as a stockbroker for three years, I uh, see that on average every month I'm taking back home less than $2,000. So this is not really sustainable and at the end of the three years, I decided to call it quits and I went back to my old school and I spoke to my principal and uh, she graciously uh, took me back as a contract teacher. So I stayed on in MOE as a contract teacher for about mm, three more years until the big tsunami happened. So what is this big tsunami? This big tsunami is actually the merger of JCs. Uh, a lot of you would, would know that in 2017, a lot of the JCs, eight of them in fact, were merged into four JCs. And my JC happened to be one of the eight that was merged. It was my principal. He told me basically, uh, Eric, we cannot renew your contract because I've been on contract for the past three years. Since MOE already has sufficient teachers, uh, by the time I tried to go back as a teacher, I could only be on contract. So the principal told me that, hey, we'll, we can't renew your contract because uh, MOE is, uh, has sufficient teacher and yeah, the schools are merging, so you have to uh, look for another job. Nine, hit sub, nine months in advance, I was told to look for a new job. So I really went to look for jobs and uh, at the time I managed to find this job at NTU. I haven't applied for it. I just told my then wife, uh, I told her that, hey, uh, I found this job. I'm, I think I'm going to go for the interview. It's uh, paying about 4000 a month. So at that time, it was a step down a little bit from my teaching salary. And then she, she was looking at me, my wife was, and I can tell that she's a bit in incredulous look and then she told me like you're really going to apply for this hostel manager job which has no prospect no advancement prospect whatsoever 4k and you want you think that you can uh, support a whole family uh, seriously what the